Three, two, one, and we are live. Welcome back to the live stream uh, for anybody watching, um, either now or in the future. Um, there was no stream yesterday, as I had a plan to stream yesterday, because uh, we had another power outage, which was awesome. <laughs> power was out for like four hours. I literally hit start stream and power, I heard the transformer blow. So I could have streamed probably a short stream yesterday, but I was just like, fuck it. I'll just get some work done of what I could. Um, I was able to fix the problem with what was occurring on Saturday with the boss encounter. Uh, there is a feature in the mod that I use for Special K to lock the frame rate to 60 FPS, which is um, the default. I run at 120 FPS and that was causing the issue. I tested it, and uh, it, that is the problem, which was a simple fix. Um, but I was already spent that day. Didn't want to, you know, do the research right then and there. Um, it actually went really quick. I probably could have, if I found the information as quickly as I did, probably could have continued the stream, but I was kind of spent. Um, so that is fixed. I also redid the um, control scheme because I was having issues uh, trying to heal because um, you have to use the use item button and then use the D-pad to navigate the menus and uh, as far as like what you want to utilize. And because my D-pad was mapped to my attacks, I was doing that and it doesn't seem to cancel it out. I don't know why they did that with the game because it, whenever you use certain buttons in the game, uh, they, th you know, like if you go into a menu or something to that effect, they actually switch over automatically. It's really weird. Uh, it would be good if it was consistent through the whole game. Uh, it would n negate the reason to have multiple profiles um, because generally, uh, let me pull up this uh, stream real quick. So generally, when I uh, have a game profile, let me uh, minimize, I have two I have a menu, which is the generally the default. All the buttons are left to default, except for like the touchpad. And then I have another one uh, called game. And that's where I generally do all my button remapping. And then I will have a, a button or toggle, uh, usually one, sometimes more than one, to switch back and forth between the two. Um, so if it was consistent, I actually wouldn't need to do that. And not too many games do that. I generally have to have some sort of default button scheme and then my own remapped, specifically whenever I go into menus or if I go into speak to like an NPC and another menu comes up. Um, because there's very a rare game that the default control scheme works for me. Um, you know, and in all honesty, you know, I can appreciate some developers do really good button schemes and sometimes don't require much button remapping, if at all. Those are very rare events. Usually there's some sort of button remapping that I need to do. Um, but being on PC, you have the luxury to do that, which is one of the reasons that kind of kept me from going, jumping the boat and going to console because of that inability to be able to do button remapping. However, with the PlayStation, you can button remap using Remote Play and Steam. So that's why I've been doing PlayStation. With the Nintendo Switch, it, there's button remapping now. Uh, there wasn't, and in fact, I actually sold my Switch because I was, grew frustrated because there was no button remapping. And I tried a bunch of different uh, dongles and options to, and even different controllers to do button remapping. But it was at, at launch, there wasn't really much available. So I like literally sold my switch. Actually, I gave it to my cousin. Um, that's right. Yeah. I gave it to my cousin and then she grew tired of it. And, uh, then button remapping came out last year on by default from Nintendo. So I just haven't gotten around to playing any switch games. So, um, but anyways, uh, that's done. And then there was something else. Oh, I also did some leveling. Uh, I think on Sunday while I was rendering out the videos for the for the game those are being processed right now and um the game is kind of interesting so the game will scale enemies based on your level 
which is good because I, I wasn't leveling because I felt like I was underpowered or anything. I think this game's kind of broken when it comes to the leveling system uh, because when I, when I was looking into the, the different levels for like different quests, people were saying that, yeah, you have to go grind levels. And I was like, eh, I don't really want to be grinding levels. I mean, this isn't an MMO and I've already expressed how I don't like grinding. Um, so there is actually pretty much a free way to grind levels. Um, there's a spot where you first meet up with the twins, where there's a continuous wave of enemies that respawn. If you set the game to easy mode and enable your auto chips for like auto heal, um, you know, e auto evade and auto attack, it's literally like running a bot and you just take your your character there it will auto fight all the enemies there i spent i didn't really do anything i just set all the chips just followed the guide let my character sit there and grind levels i just went up to level 50 uh the max level is 99 and it took uh, about three hours to go from level 22 to 50 um but it doesn't really give me a huge advantage in regards to like quest but what it does do well, it doesn't, it doesn't. It will allow me, because the quests don't give you really any XP. Um, I don't under... It, this kind of reminds me of The Witcher 3. Because when I was researching The Witcher 3 and was going to play it and I was modding it, uh, a lot of players said that the leveling system in The Witcher 3 is kind of broken. Like, you'll go and do all these quests and you'll barely get any XP. And that's what was kind of happening here. So I was like, okay... It's kind of one of those things. So I wasn't going to mod The Witcher 3 eventually when I get around to playing it. But if it's like this, yeah, I'll be doing that. Because it it's kind of one of those things where it like forces you to do side quests. And the thing is, is a lot of these side quests in this game, they, they're not, they kind of suck. I would say 50% of them are crap. They're like some sort of escort quest or, you know, there's only a few that are like really good that kind of help tie into the story. The rest are just like, okay, you get a little bit of gold for this or whatever the currency is and you get some experience. In fact, you get more money than you exp get experience. So that was the reason why I opted to do that. Um, but as far as like, I do like that even though you do level, that it's not going to trivialize the game. So it's not like, um, even though I'm level 50, the game's not just automatically going to be easy because all the enemies will scale to my level. So that's kind of cool. Um, but it will kind of be a little bit more balanced when I go to do bosses because, I mean, I'd prefer to be on a little bit harder level, but by going to harder level, you lose the lock-on feature. That's the only reason why I don't go to a harder level. Um, because if you don't have lock on, it kind of negates the, it negates even having or using the pods because <laughs> you're, you're either going to do melee or you're going to be sitting there trying to aim your pod. It almost is like they tried to turn it into a third person shooter by forcing you, you can't use lock on and you now having to aim manually using your pod. I guess there's might be some people that enjoy that type of gameplay and maybe that, you know, that route, uh, it's an option, but I don't think it's an option they should have forced on the players. I think that should have been something that like maybe in the settings where you could turn it on and off, uh, you know, to use lock on or not without changing the difficulty. Uh, but it is what it is. So to fix the, uh, the bug with the boss, I have to, have to go into the special key menu and I have to toggle this off. Now, when I tested it, I toggled this off and I changed my frame rate. Let me go full screen because that's going to be too small. Um, so I have to toggle off, remove frame cap. I don't know if I need to actually change this. I did when I did the test and it worked. When I do the test today, I'm just going to toggle this off 
and hopefully that'll be enough. If not, then I'll just have to kill, I'll have to do the boss again a second time. But I know that doing this and this will fix the problem. Um, question is, is, is it going to be uh, a continuance? Because I haven't had any other issues with any other encounter except for this one. So, um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and get into it. Oh, and I did get uh, Scarlet Nexus. It is, it's, I don't have it preloaded here, but I have it on my other machine. Um, I think we'll probably just go ahead and jump into that after we finish this. And I may do a second playthrough with 9S. Can result in serious limitations to data uploading and other vital mission activities. Recommend repairing transporter as quickly as possible. Understood. So the way I did it the other day when I tested the fix is I was able to run 120. I got all the way up to the last phase where um, you do the EMT and then I turned it off and it worked. Um, I don't know at which point. Um, I suspect as long as you do it before the cutscene starts that that would probably uh, probably be enough. Oh, let me check my chips. Okay. I also kind of dicked around with the uh, different chip options. Um, so you have like, I do like that, that you can have three different profiles for your chips. So that's kind of cool. The one thing, though, that I wish they did is I wish they gave you. So when you hit the use item uh, button, it brings up this menu real briefly, and then you have the option to use the D-pad to navigate. Um, what I wish they would have done is, uh, if you notice on the weapon set, well, I can switch weapons with, uh, with a button as I have it toggled, but I wish they had also given a similar menu system to switch between your chips um, on the fly, and I don't know why they didn't do that. Because you can do that. Um, you can switch chips. Uh, well, you know what? You might not be able to switch chips during an encounter because um, if you try to go into the menu, when you're uh, engaged, it generally, it generally blocks you. I'm gonna skip these just for time's sake because we've already done all that shit. Out in the last war. Looks like the whole city is starting to sink as a result. Target missile sighted. Is that what we need to protect? Let's take him out already so I can be home in time for dinner and a bath. Androids don't need to bathe. As long as you perform regular cleaning and maintenance, bathing is unnecessary. Yeah, but come on, 2 d Not really sure why these are saying level 20, because I fought some other uh, enemies that were, for the most part, scaling to my level, so I'm not really sure why that is. That's the last of the machines. 
2B. There's another bug too. Commander? Emergency orders incoming. The carrier ship that was sent to resupply has come under attack. It's currently being engaged by a swarm of machines. I've asked all Yorha troops in the city ruins for assistance, and I'll need you to provide backup as well. I'm sending flight units and coordinates now. Good luck. Out. You see? Total slave driver. Whoopsh. If she didn't order others around, what kind of leader would she be? Hmm. Also adjusted the sharpness a bit because the sharpness, uh, I, I'm using a Gaussian blur effect. So that way, um, it's almost, it almost works very much like a, um, depth of field filter. It, it works very similar because the depth of field, uh, doesn't work quite as good, at least in the shaders that I have. Um, and it does help, uh, both with my visuals and it also helps with the stream because then it's not trying to re render every single little detail um, but i noticed that the stream looked a little blurry and i was like what is going on so i went and dicked around with that and i uh, noticed that even when i was gaming when i was actually playing it looked a little blurry so i i kind of adjusted that so it looks a little bit better so there's another bug where when i get in the uh the um I forget what these things are called. Uh, the craft suits here. My trigger button, or as far as my attack, doesn't work. Uh, but I think um, when I tested it on Sunday, when I was trying to fix the other issue, uh, I think if I toggle between, um, like if I switch between the pods like this, uh, it seems to like fix it or whatever. Um, at least it did both times when I tried it. So we'll uh we'll try it again. It's probably not gonna work right away. Yeah, it's doing it again. Yeah, so all I have to do is um and if I'm not running uh special K or any mod, it works by default. So all I have to do is just switch between these and it works. I didn't know that when I first uh, encountered that problem the other day, uh, when I, on Saturday when I first got to this area. Yeah, the game looks so much better. Uh, I just had too much blur because it's a lot sharper looking now. Although the stream looks a lot more, well, actually I can't tell because I have it on um, 720p. But by adding the blur, it helps a lot with the stream as well because of uh, the, the artifacting that oftentimes occurs, mainly because this game just has so many uh, um, textures that are just ridiculously detailed that's just unnecessary. So I noticed there was a lot of weapons in the game. When I was looking into the weapons into the game that I was not able to access, it turns out that the weapons, um, a lot of them you get from the second playthrough. And in order to get them, you have to have, you're going to be playing with 9S. And you actually use 9S to hack into all those chests that you're not able to unlock. You use 9S to, um, for the most part, uh, hack into them and then you can gain access so uh, we may do a playthrough with 9s after this we'll see depending on uh, the length of the game like I'm not dying to jump in a, a Scarlet Nexus uh, I'm very excited to play it but I'm not like feeling stressed to like okay I gotta rush through this uh, to get to uh, Scarlet Nexus attention this is Carrier Blue Ridge 2 requesting support from any friendly units in range come under heavy fire from the enemy. Our escort ship has taken damage and is unable to engage. We're currently resisting with all remaining support fighters, but we can't hold them off for long. I repeat, this is Carrier Blue Ridge 2. We need immediate backup from any available Android forces.
Yeah, so you notice that these are level 50s. And the other day when I was fighting them, they were level 22s because they scale with your with the level that of what you're at. But I also noticed that when I did the the fix that the one of the mini bosses, uh, I don't think he scales. So I don't understand. Like the game's kind of weird. I'm picking up a large scale enemy inbound. Looks to be 2.8 clicks southwest of us. Yeah, see, this one's only level 25. So I don't know why the, the other enemies scale to your level, but that doesn't. It's kind of weird. Wait, I'm still picking up a large enemy presence. Didn't I kill that already? What on? If it's that big, we should be able to see it. Hopefully all I need to do is toggle the uh, the lock on or the lock off for the 60 FPS. Um, makes it pretty easy to do in case I run into that problem again. Go ahead. The only known record of this machine life form is a lone sighting 320 years ago. Upon reaching land, the unit unleashed a devastating electromagnetic wave attack. All resistance fighters in the vicinity were annihilated. So basically, if this thing reaches land, we're screwed. Affirmative. Try to do this. Hopefully, that will uh, be enough to satisfy whatever problems that it. Technically, if I did it right here, it'd probably be enough to toggle it off. Oh, come on! It's 
got an electromagnetic barrier over his whole body? <laughs> Having trouble over there? Are you Yorha? Hunter Squadron deploying out of North 12th Sea Defense HQ. I'm the Commanding Officer, 4B. Don't worry, we'll take it from here. Let's lead this area to the reinforcements. I have an idea. You and I should meet up at the spot I just marked. We've got mortars lining the shoreline here. All the EMP shielding in the world won't help against close-range mortar fire. Got it. Uh, yep, it worked. Okay, cool. So all I need to do is toggle that. 60 fps and then you, what happens is if, if you don't do it it stays in cinematic mode and this uh does not the prompt the red prompt doesn't come up which is why i couldn't progress i'll help aim this thing's armor is too thick we need more firepower 2b Let's try for a more direct approach. Direct? Oh, right. That's right. Lay down some fire in its stupid mouth. This is bad. Are you all right, Tubi? That enormous machine is an ancient weapon. It was designed to help annihilate the androids but it wound up going out of control. I was part of the machine's network when it happened, so I remember it. The moment it reached land, it was a berserk and began attacking everything in sight. No one could figure out how to stop it. We eventually marooned it deep in the ocean, but it seems to be searching for a way back. Huh. Hey, 2B, I think I have another idea. You keep that thing right where it is, okay? What? Please, Tubi. This is gonna work. Nine S is leaving the front lines. Proposal: Nine S should be reported to command as a deserter. No. He has a plan. Just hold on. <laughs> to save his own ass. No. <laughs> That's the plan. <laughs> going to see if we can use those missiles back on the shore, but I need you to destroy the EMP unit on that thing's back. Otherwise, they're just going to go off course. On. I kept trying to get the other attack. It would not let me.
aiming on an analog stick with this is it aims like a uh, like a um, wazd attack. Like there's no in between. Not really sure why that is. Like you can aim 12 o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock, and nine o'clock, but trying to do two, four, five, and what, uh, 10 o'clock or, or anything in between is really off. Oh shit. I don't know if that was uh, missable or not. <laughs> I love how this looks. You've got like the foreground with all the smaller enemies that kind of give a lot more scaling to the boss. It makes it very megalithic. It's pretty fucking cool. It's like Godzilla or some shit. Especially on a fucking 65 inch uh, display. <laughs> that is a lot of motherfuckers. <laughs> that is a lot of motherfuckers. <laughs> So this thing has quite a few. Oh, okay, I'm stuck. I can't uh, actually fly over. Okay. Yeah, the camera on this is really weird. Like, it's not 2D, but it's not 3D either. It's like, this is weird. Okay. Wow. S signal lost. Organize a search and rescue party for the missing Yorha members at once. To be mine s don't die on me Wow, that looks awesome. Okay, now we could probably turn up the uh, yeah the frame rate. <laughs> it's crazy going from one twenty to 
60. It's almost like going from uh, 60 to 30. Okay, there we go. Wow, that's awesome. So just to give my opinion about this fight, and I want to say... I want to commend the developers for attempting what they've done with these fights. Um, to, in reality, though, very few times do they actually work as far as what they're trying to accomplish. But I don't want to knock it because it's innovative, it's different, and I think with a little more experimentation... And a little more thought going into it. I think this is this is what I love to see from developers. Um, I don't want to say it's a complete fail. Um, it's not. I definitely see potential in this type of boss encounters. And again, not just with this particular fight, but in all of them that I've experienced so far. Because um, they like to... One of them that was really, really awful that did not work at all was the um, the carnival park boss because the camera got to the point where it was hijacked where you literally don't have control over your character anymore. Um, so I don't I didn't really care for that and it made the fight unenjoyable, just flat out unenjoyable. Uh, but I don't want to knock it because. It's definitely outside the norm. You don't see too many developers taking risks like this. Uh, again, I think with more, you know, dicking around experimentation, I think um, I think this could be a a stepping stone to another level of boss encounters in gaming in general, and possibly even not just boss encounters but other encounters as well. Um, Two B to bunker. Come in. Over. Operator to Two B. Two B, are you all right? Running system diagnostics. Core functionality appears intact. Thank goodness. Never mind that. I need a status report. Roger that. In regards to the giant machine that attacked the shore, it ceased its resistance eight hours ago following your missile strike. Eight hours? However, its EMP strikes knocked out comms all across the region. We're having trouble getting them back online which means data uploading is currently unavailable in some areas. Where's 9S? Um, yeah, about that. We picked up a faint black box reading, but it wasn't strong enough to lock down his position. If you found something, that means he must be alive. Put in a request to the commander for immediate approval to begin a search. Actually, the commander has already ordered us to prioritize tracking down surviving Yorha members. If you find 9S, let me know, okay? Will do. To be out. Huh. I need you to scan for any nearby black box signals. Scanning complete. No signals detected. However, a dynamic scanner is required for detection of weaker signals. Never heard of it. Said dynamic scanner may be located in the resistance camp. Proposal. Okay. Further information should be obtained from the resistance leader. Let's go. Yeah, we'll do that. I, I'm familiar with this. Um, I got it before, but I didn't know it was required. Okay. Uh. Okay, we need to get back to the resistance camp. Um. Guess we're going this way. One of the things I think they should do... Oh, what's this? Another one?
uh, one of the things I think uh, devs should do, and, and I've seen this in other games, is um, separate the sound out where you have voice volume, ambient sound volume, and uh, secondary uh, volume, like for like like for attacks. Like if I'm attacking. Uh, or my pods attacking or enemies are attacking, give that a totally different sound volume option because the volume from the fucking waterfalls and uh, and all that shit is just entirely obnoxiously loud. And uh, it's always been that way. It's not like even on regular speakers, not even wearing my headphones, it's, it's annoying. And if I go and turn down the ambient sound... Um... Then it lowers the volume for main attacks, and it, you can't really hear them, so it kind of sucks. There are some games that actually give you that flexibility and uh, audio control. Um, trying to think of... Can't think of one right now, but I know I've seen that. It is in the more newer titles. This game isn't that old, though. It's, I think it came out in 2017. I mean, it's not like it's 10 years old. And they're actually working on a uh, on a fix or an update to this game for PC because there was such an outrage of what happened with the Xbox version because Xbox got a uh, upgrade. I don't think I can transport. Nope, I can't. So I'm going to have to put it. Like the footsteps and the weapon attacks and all that, the volume where I have it set now is perfect. But all the water effects, like that one wasn't too bad, but when it, whenever like I'm in an ocean or a big waterfall, it's just way, way too loud. Like it needs to be reduced by at least 50%. To be here. We've got a number of broken down access points on the field. The cause appears to be an EMP attack from a gigantic machine life form. If you encounter any offline access points, please repair them for us. Understood. I think I needed to go down to the bunker. Uh, hold on. Yeah, down here and try to restore this one. Dude, the game looks so much better since I bumped up the, that Gaussian blur. Should be one down here. No. I'm surprised they're not here. Let's see if we can take any transport. These fuckers, man. Get off. Okay, this one's cleared. That's kind of weird. It let me port here. But yeah, that's really weird. Ah, look at that motherfucker. <laughs> Whoa, almost got... Jesus Christ, fucking boar, man. Well, he's only level 16. I can probably kick his ass now. <laughs> 
I want to try to catch this uh, vendor. Saw him running around over here. Where the hell are you? I don't see him on my map anymore. He's a fast motherfucker. You just have to hit him once and he'll stop. But... received from access point there he is <laughs> okay I got him stopped that's all I wanted hey there that was a bit aggressive don't you think Yeah, I don't know. That's a nice option. If I get, and you don't need to be on easy mode for that. Like, I have the money to get these, but I'm probably going to wait. Um, Really powerful. Turn invincible for two seconds after taking damage. I wonder if there's an internal cooldown. Yeah, I'll wait. I don't need any of this stuff right now, I don't think. Okay, we need to get to the resistance camp, which I believe is this way. So what the blur is supposed to do is everything right now in the foreground, like my character and whatnot, is in focus. But the trees that are kind of... Yeah, let me kill this thing first. So... Uh, 
as I start to kind of go off into the distance as far as the visuals, all of this starts to get more blurred out. Um, very similar to like a depth of field effect. Uh, it looks cool. I like the way it looks. And it does help a little bit with the stream as far as artifacting because all these little fucking blades of grass and textures and all that just don't do well uh, for streaming on this particular game. Uh, I had problems, the same problem with Sekiro in certain parts. Uh, like when you go to fight the monk the second time, uh, there's all these like leaves and shit and uh, it's really crazy. And then uh, Bloodborne, uh, when you go to fight um, German, I think. And then also one of the other final bosses because it's the same area. All right, we need to talk to somebody. Yeah, here we go. Hmm? What's up? I'm looking for something called a dynamic scanner that can detect black box signals. A dynamic... Oh, you must mean the one the twins built. I think they're just back from an expedition, actually. You should see some red-haired androids over there. Try talking to them. Red hair? Those twins, they... Yes? Actually, never mind. Twins? What do you want? Easy, Devola. There's no need to be so confrontational. And you don't have to trust every idiot that wanders by. <sighs> I'm sorry about that. Can we help you? I need a scanner that can detect faint black box signals. Ah, yeah. I was tinkering with something like that a little while back. Here, if you want it, it's all yours. That chip should help with your search. Once you install it, it can detect black box signals, quest objects, all manner of things. You'll hear a sound whenever it finds something. And if it ever bugs you too much, you can always pop it back out. Let us know if there's anything else you need from us, okay? And don't think this makes us friends. Oh, Devola. Okay. Oh, okay. So if I change this, does it change it for all three? I'll put it on the laser. I don't hardly ever use this. And then we can leave these to default. Okay, that's cool. Oh, shit. Okay, so I can't even... Okay, so it's... Ah, okay. So I could just, like... Okay, so I could toggle it off by... Hold on. Okay, I see. How. Okay. Kind of want to 
wanted to go back to that forest and do those two quests that I haven't. Actually, it's just one quest. I picked up a response on the scanner. I wonder if I can Yeah, I want to go over there and do that quest. Um Actually, let's go over here. Oh shit. Do I have to Oh, okay, I can do that then. I guess I had already hit double jump. Can we go to the forest? Oh, I need to go over here. So I need to, it'd probably be better to go to the blacksmith. Okay, let's see if we can do that. It's not even listing the one at the blacksmith, but it's showing up on the map and it's not deactivated.
Okay, I know where I'm at. I'm trying to figure out, though... Am I in combat or something? I'm trying to get in my menu. Oh, so this is... Oh, okay. So it's the Royal Chamber. Okay. It was, I had it. You have to zoom in on it. Otherwise, okay. Okay. Must need to go to a lower level. We saved. Oh, shit. It'd be nice if I could actually see what was in there. <laughs> Alloy obtained, okay. Pirate obtained, okay.
Oh, you know what I think this is? I think I need to get to the chests that have those uh, Android parts that we weren't able to collect before. That's what it is. If I'd gotten that quest before coming here, I wouldn't have to fucking do this again. Yeah, there's one there. junk, basically. While lacking in value, it may be connected to the supposed treasure of the Forest Kingdom. Proposal. It should be confiscated for safekeeping. Right. Actually, I think there's three of them, if I remember right. Recovery. Okay, that's what it is. I was like, what? Okay, can't open that. It's got to be hacked. there's any more over here. No. Okay. There is one on a ledge down below. I'm going to try to see if I can um save because if I miss the jump, I can reload the save. That'll probably be faster than trying to run all the way back around. Okay, that's the one we need to get to, right below us. Analysis. 
This part belongs to a machine life form. So it's junk, basically. While lacking in value, it may be connected to the supposed treasure of the Forest Kingdom. Proposal. It should be confiscated for safekeeping. Okay, it looks like there's more. Oh, okay, so you don't have to do... Hmm, okay. Is it above me? Yeah, it must be above me. I think there's one more chest that we need to find. Okay. Yeah, there's a chest over there. How the fuck are you supposed to get to that? Okay, I think I need... Hold on. Ah, there we go. Not exactly what we were after, but we'll take it anyways. Fuck up there. Yeah, 
I guess we can try to keep going up and see. I know I found three of them. Okay, yeah, it's not here. Okay, we're at the top, so... Go ahead and save. Ah, here it is. Analysis. This part belongs to a machine life form. So it's junk, basically. This has got to be the last one. It may be connected to the supposed treasure of the Forest Kingdom. Proposal. It should be confiscated for safekeeping. Analysis. Machine life form parts can be assembled in some fashion. Processing. Processing. Processing complete. Machine life form parts can be assembled into a key. Proposal. Initiate search for a door that matches the key. Okay. think we're going to be able uh, we might be able to do this
This map can be a bit confusing. <laughs> Okay, I think I need to go up a level. Kind of hard to tell. Like this goes up two levels. We need to get to the level below this level. Oh, actually, it goes up three levels. Hold on. Oh, here we here. We, okay. Oh, there's the door. I think. Looks like it's already open. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's something over there. Can we get to it? Are you fucking kidding me? Let's go around. Let's see. So that must be the door. Yeah, I've never, even when I did my first playthrough, which wasn't completed, uh, I never did this part. Um. Okay. So that's how, okay. Orange fruits are coming from the outside. We need to expand our castle security. We must be wary of the machines that may damage near the forest as well. We should launch a brand new strike before their efforts proceed further. For the sake of our forest king. For the sake of our king. All right, well, let's get in there. Oh, wow. Keyhole detected. A corresponding key will likely be required. Are a boss? Thank <laughs> you. 
Whoa, okay. Whoa, electrical, okay. This guy's fucking tough. I got my fucking life steal on, so you can try to attack me all you want. It ain't gonna do very much good for you. Ah, oh, that fucking AOE lightning attack. Okay, well. I thought that shield would have broken by now. Uh, machine torso obtained. Okay. Okay. What's this? Some kind of writing. It reads, here lies the king of our forest. Alert. Storage media found. Digitization and saving complete. Is this the treasure? Uh, looks like it. Okay, we gotta head back to Pascal. Uh...
I need to go around and clear out those other fucking uh, transports. Wasn't I supposed to come here? somebody else. Oh, okay, here we go. Ah, here we go.
I don't even think I can do that parade quest anymore since, uh, yeah, I, I don't, because the way the, uh, world has changed, I wonder why it doesn't just automatically abandon a quest. All right. So I guess we're headed over here now.
Report. Mail notification received from access point. Machine fish. Okay.
Can this one not be repaired? Access point repairs complete. Oh, so I just had to use it. What about the bunker? I guess we're going to talk to Jackass. I'm going to save before I do this shit. I'm taking no chances in case this fucker gets me killed. Thanks, jackass. <laughs> so is do I need to recover my body or, or what? Because I, I learned that one of the things that Okay, now mine says HK, and you know, I'm going to look that up because I don't know what these endings mean. I have a feeling that's not a good thing.
Oh, okay. So I've done ending H. Uh, when the Goliath enters the city, abandon the mission and fail. So I did that one. And then after speaking to Jackass at the desert camp, eat the mackerel fish, you get that ending. I see. How many endings are there? Holy fuck. So it's A through Z to get like all these different endings. Interesting. So it's not, I don't think there's any, I don't know, I have to do more research, but I don't think there's any repercussions from doing that. So I saved, but then it did another auto save. I'm wondering, do I still have the mackerel fish or not? I'm not going to eat it if it's just going to kill me, but I'm curious. Yeah, still have it. Okay, so I did get the drug. Okay, so you actually do have to do that in order to complete the quest. Oh my god, just let me get into the menu already. Can I get into the menu now? Jesus fucking Christ. Huh. I wonder why you'd want to why you'd want to use that.
Okay, we're supposed to go in there, but it's not open. Oh, okay, I gotta go over. So what I learned is you die in the beginning of the game uh, when, when 9S and 2B use their black boxes. And apparently you can return to where you, over here and get your body back. I don't know how you would do that, though, um, because this area is blocked off. Um, so we'll look and see, but... Apparently, you can do that at the beginning of the game. But I don't know how you would get back over here because you need this to be open, I believe, unless there's a another way in over here that I don't know about. I didn't really look into it. It was just like a tip. Um, so there might be some sort of trick to doing that or whatever. So we're getting into the part where I got stuck the first time I played in the game and I stopped playing, uh, I did come back and kind of finish the part, uh, but, but didn't progress any further. Uh, and what it was is there's this factory you go into. It's very confusing. It's 10 times worse than the forest. The forest actually isn't too bad um, compared to this. But hopefully I'll be able to figure it out because I got lost because it's a it's kind of a repeating map and you don't know where the fuck you at you, you don't even know what level you're on um 
maybe there's a... Maybe there's something that signifies what level. We'll check. curious how you would get back over here okay so your body would i don't, I don't think it'll be here because i've died a couple times uh even though i recover my body but yeah i believe your body would be like around here oh wait oh okay no this is it Yeah, this is my body. So it's letting me pick up everything I had, except for the heels, because I have plenty of those. Interesting. And then I can get my weapon back that I had at the beginning of the game, but I lost. Okay. Let's take a look at that. You know, I'm actually going to go try to uh, upgrade my weapon. Hold on. It didn't give me the... Uh... Okay, that's what I did wrong. Oh, that's right. You can't... Uh Okay, fuck. Because I don't have two of these. Yeah, I'm very curious how you would get back over here after you do this this encounter uh, when this is blocked off. Uh, oh, we're going to have to run all the way back to the fucking camp. Hold on, let's see if there's a... Because the camp is uh, broken. just fucking run because I think by the time I load and do all the loading it probably would have been about the same amount this ain't PS5 loading <laughs> well even near on the PS5 uh, the loading is I don't think is any different
Okay, so I never got a meteorite shard. Beast hide. We're going to try this out. So it has a similar attack pattern as as the other uh, sword. Let's go see if we can get some hides real quick. I think if we kill a few moose, um, uh, and maybe some pigs, some swine. Yeah, this weapon's dope. Pretty quick, too. It seems faster than the other weapon. Than the, uh... Yeah. Uh... Fuck. All the moose were over here. I don't know if they're still gonna be there or not. Yeah, that's a big dick weapon. I think this is where the parade quest starts. That quest fucking sucks. So we need four hides. If we can get them. Yeah, there's no moose. They're all extinct. Uh, there's some pigs. Why are you not firing? Beast type. Yep. Three more. Cool. Yep. Probably we'll have to like reload the area to get the others.
Need some more beast hides. Let's see if there's any more moose over here. Any bullwinkles. too. Cool. Uh, I think we need two more. Where'd the other one go? There he is. You motherfucker. Keep bucking on me. Whoa! What a fucking asshole. Quit bucking on me. I don't need moose meat. I need. Oh, look at this asshole sitting over here. Welcome! What is this? This is garbage. What are you trying to sell me here? I need moose. There he is. Nope, that's not a moose. All right, let's reload and see if that. Good respawn him. I'm surprised they don't just have like a like a reload option or load last save or something like that. Just need a couple more, one or two more moose. There they are. Well, there's one of them. Why is it level 14? moose meat that time that was kind of weird level 14 
Yeah, this one's only level 15. Okay, well, we did get the beast hide. Let's check and see. I think we only needed five. Oh my god, this fucking song is on every channel I have. <laughs> they play it way to me too much. Get off me. Yeah, we're going to head over to the uh, camp now, but I think we only needed five to upgrade. Wait, was this where the... Dude, my rockets can't even catch up to this fool. Whoops, I didn't even see you there. This is the motherfucker I was trying to find. So I don't know what it is, but some of these are randomized because I, I just got a bunch of junk earlier. Now he's got all this shit, which is actually good because I was actually wanting to get this before. Okay. Auto use healing item. If HP drops below 30%, heals 60% more. Um, We might pick that up. But there was another one that does damage. And I think my healing's pretty good. Um, But there was one that does like a ton of damage. This one's pretty cool too. You get 30% chance or a uh, chance to revive with 60% health. Um, this is the one I wanted. Add a powerful shockwave to weapon attacks. Uh, we'll look a little bit more, but I think that's the one I'm going to pick up. Now, I don't need XP gain because I already know a place to get XP, so there's no point in spending money on that. Although, you can buy it and then use it to... Uh, you know, level up a little bit faster, but I don't think it's worth it because max level is 99 anyways. This is pretty dope. So after, like, let's say you're out of combat and you want to heal, um, instead of like wasting heals, you can do that. Unless you're using lifesteal already. Um, but you got to be out of combat for that, for the most part, because you're not going to, you know, go five seconds while in combat and not take, you know, let's see. Eh, actually, you probably could. But I think we're going to go more offensive. I think we're good on healing and everything. That's pretty dope, too. 25%. Yeah, we're going to get the... Uh... Oh, this is pretty cool. Slow time for four seconds after a perfect evade. I think I'm going to go with the shockwave.
I wonder if there's like a toy of this. I would I would buy one. You know, just like a memento. Um So this one gives me 50% more health. Recover 50% of damage dealt as HP. Um, that's good for boss fights. Let's see how big that uh, damage chip is. Oh, we could actually get rid of these then. Oh shit, that one takes a lot of fucking slots. Let's look at the health again. I might reduce my health down. Because that's 28 slots. Wow, that's a big drop. Maybe not a good idea. Let's see what else we can drop. We could drop that one and then optimize and then is that enough? Still not enough. Motherfucker. I don't think we need this. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. I wish it kind of signified how many slots I have free. It's kind of hard to tell. slots. Yeah, that's so fucking big. Oh, 
That one's not too bad. It's still not uh, enough room for it, but. Yeah, that might be worth it. <laughs> 